combine metaverse technology. What are the advantages and also benefits of this metaverse for early users? So um, you can see as um, maybe if you are a gamer or if you are previously uh, have involved in something that's ex uh, that gives you early access. This also gives you um, something that's like an early access as well in Myriad, such as uh, you can have your um, minting mechanism and then later you can have your lens in the metaverse and then later on you can enjoy all the benefits of the metaverse in, uh, in Myriad. Because uh, we are currently trying to grasp more users to, um, to try and like, have the experience for the early access. And then later, when they are more familiar with it, uh, we will also reward them with uh, like the bounties and also for the uh, lens itself. And Metaverse is going to be big in Myriad. So what we see is that uh, this Metaverse will have early users who will need to be active first, and then they will later on can uh, mint their avatar, they can mint their NFT uh, for like posts and so on and so forth. That's the Metaverse for Myriad. So Metaverse, a lot people access more easily, you could say like that. Yeah, and our metaverse is going to be interconnected with other products. All right. Myriad is also one-stop social media. When one upload on Myriad, the users can also configure it into their other social media, I heard. So how does this work exactly? So it is essentially not the, uh, it's the other way around actually, that Myriad is something that where we just have to visit one type of um, you know, platform, which is the Myriad itself. And later when you have your uh, post or your content from other social media, they will all be aggregated into just one platform, which is Myriad. And you can import posts. Right now we are already integrated with several major social medias such as Twitter, uh, Reddit, and Facebook. Uh, later, we're also going to expand to other social medias. Now, that's a concept where we want to give the users um, easy experience to explore everything about social media, which is uh, based on what we call the Web 2.0, and it is upgraded to Web 3.0. Right, but in some cases of social media, we all know have been vulnerable into hacking and also breaching. How does Myriad also ensure that the user's privacy will always be safe? So the first step that we take uh, is that we always uh, always ask the user to have like pseudonymity, and then uh, we um, we encourage users to not uh, you know expose themselves too much in social media. But that's only the social aspect of it. But in terms of the technicalities, Myriad is built on a decentralized platform, which is a decentralized platform that uh, that does not um, like collect all the data into just one big tech and uh, let the data to be manipulated or to be consumed by this one big tech, uh, it is uh, actually going to be like distributed to other, social, uh, to other servers. And then these servers are going to be responsible for, the, uh, for, uh, for storing and also for making the data secure. And if there is any kind of data breach, it's not going to affect all of the uh, platform itself. But in fact, almost every social network today, we all know, has made it possible for the users to monetize. And through Myriad, I heard that the users can also monetize their content and have more power or, or also control over their advertisers on their social pages. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, um, what we understand is that there is a new trend in the social media and on the, like on the internet where you can give uh, your support to your favorite content creator or your favorite artist or your favorite influencer. There are websites that allow you to do that, such as Patreon, and there are local, um, local websites as well. Uh, I, can, I can mention a few. Mm -mm. Um, but on Myriad, uh, we also have that kind of functionality, but we take it one step further. Is that um, if, you can, uh, if you are on social media on, on Myriad, you can tip your content creator, your favorite ones, and afterwards, you can have um, like your own digital community mm -hmm. where, you can, um, where you can also monetize all of the content in the digital community itself, but with the consent of the community. And then uh, not only that, we also allow the, uh, the NFT for posts, whereby you can turn your post into NFT and then you can sell it in the marketplace. And also it's going to be integrated with our metaverse, where there's going to be economy transaction in there.